Hello and welcome to Yarn Tales by the Sea. I'm Kelly Ann and this podcast is coming to you from the southeast coast of the United Kingdom. This is predominantly a knitting and crochet podcast. So if you're new, welcome and it's great to have you here and I hope you like what you see and consider uh, subscribing. And if you're a returning viewer, great to have you back again. I must be doing something right. <laughs> oh. What a week, well I should say, what what a few weeks. Um, I wanted to actually podcast last weekend, but um, over the back of me we've been having, um, there's been work running and uh, there's been pneumatic drills and uh, diggers and goodness knows what, and it's been so loud I thought, no, there's no way I've, I would have been able to podcast, but um Today seems to be the first day, there's no tools going, so hopefully I'll get through this this morning without it all um, kicking off back out there. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> um, as for the mail, oh my, I, you know, I'm flabbergasted with the amount of entries that we've already had. Uh, for those that are uh, a first time viewer, I'm running a uh, make along. Uh, with um, Leslie from the Not Quite and uh, Not Quite Enough Yarn podcast. Um, so to save me going through all that again, if you'd like to watch the previous video to this, uh, please do so. Um, but I will also put uh, a description about it all in the description comments. So yeah, so well, I can't believe the sun's out today. It's flipping cold though, but the sun's out. But I mean, we've had some dreadful weather lately, but uh, yeah, it's all sunny, all sunny. So yeah, I've got quite a bit to show you actually. Um, I've been trying to uh, work from stash, although I did buy some new yarn to uh, make a hat, which I will show you just now, which I'm quite proud about, uh, what I've done. Um, but I have also got, I. I, I have actually ordered a um, uh, what you call it a, a surprise box thing from Rosie's Moments. I mean, I do love Rosie's Moments yarn so much, and um, I thought to myself, no, no, I won't buy anything. And I thought I'll just go and have a look. And she's do, this year her theme boxes are on TV shows, and for the month of February, it's for the Outlander. So if you've never read the books or listened to the books or watched the programme on Prime, I highly recommend it. But I, as soon as I saw she was doing that, I thought, oh, I had to order it. So I'm waiting for that to come. So I think it's coming about mid-February. So I'm going to open that on camera. Uh, so I don't know whether I'll put it up as a separate video or whether I will uh, incorporate it in my video at the end of the month. So yeah we'll see <laughs> right so yeah i think i think we should get on with it really shouldn't we <laughs> anyway so i'm gonna my first finished object is my babel hat is it babel babel i can't remember babel i should imagine uh this is a paid for pattern on um ravelry and i made this in drops nepal which is an alpaca and wool mix and it is so soft Aran. So so it's like pink and grey. So it's got a really I oh, don't mean that really nice turn up. So you can turn it up. Oh, let's get it right. <laughs> so you can turn it up. Ooh, you can have it higher than that I suppose if you wanted to. But Oh, I absolutely love it. It's so soft. And I haven't done colour work or stranded work for years. And I thought, oh, I'll probably mess it up. But I didn't. And I'm really happy how it turned out. So much so that I'm thinking about purchasing the matching cow and mitten patterns that I have with it. So uh, I would like to make more of these. It's really, really nice. I mean, I... I didn't do it on DPNs because to be quite honest with you I'm not the biggest fan of using DPNs I mean I, I can quite happily do it 
but if I can get around away with circulars, that's what I do. So I think it was a 16 inch circular I used in the end and I just went over onto DPNs just for the top. So, but it's nice. I, I mean, I absolutely love it. And it's such an easy pattern to um, follow, but I've, I've come up with loads of color, color combinations I would like to do to make some more. So, hmm. I don't know if I do them just yet, but maybe through the summer when it's too hot to do like big pro projects and um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm really, really pleased with that. So that's number one. Um, number two, <laughs> finished off the needles. How many months has it been? <laughs> I must admit I've cut it short a little bit because it's turned out absolutely mahoosive oops <laughs> so she, I can't even get it all in I don't think so you go up 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 hmm. ah but the only thing I don't like about it is that it is so uh, long and skinny yeah I mean I don't want to use it as a shawl per se I just wanted it to sort of wrap round, but it's like so big, this end I have to like tuck in and round again, but but I'm so glad it is done. It's not, I haven't blocked it yet. Um, so for that I used, what was that? That was another Drops one, Drops Nord I think it was. I'm pretty sure it's certainly it's Drops Nord, which is another alpaca. And then for the, for the colour that was, uh, Starcraft head over he head over heels in Sugarloaf, and which is discontinued unfortunately because I'm towards the end of this I had to put a little bit of grey back in, and what I was going to do was do a lot more. But like I said, it was it's getting far too big, and so oh well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really pleased, but. It's, I know I've got all this other stuff on, but I am cold. <laughs> but it, it wraps round. Oh, look, I can't even find the end. It's just, it's mahoosive. And then you've got all these bits. So I sort of, I don't know, wrap it in and tuck it. Oh, I don't know. I'll find some way of wearing it. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> oh, now look, I'm all caught up. So, yeah, I've just got to block it. And it is done. I think last year was my year of the shawls. I, I say shawls. I do use, like indoors, I, I use them as a shawl. Um, but I predominantly use them wrapped around like this. So, yeah. So I'm all caught up in there. Oh, well. I'll stick it in there. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's that. Um, I've also started, um, the old man, Colin, who, who uh, does all the credits and titles for my video, he wanted a, a pair of, like, mittenless gloves. I said to him, you're not wearing them for work, are you? Because I'm not going to make him for you wear them for work because you'll ruin them. And he said, no, no, no. So I did manage to find him a pattern um I've, out of my uh, that's going to show up right way back to front so uh it's gloves by suzette palmer do you know what i've had this years never knitted a pair out of it and so it's coming handy at long last i'll, I'll grab a picture up because he's chose chosen so i don't know if you can see yeah so that's what he wanted so it's they are unisex so he's chosen this colour which is Rowan Tweed in the colourway graphite. I shall pop it on my hand. It's a bit big for me, but um, it's a real it, it actually says in the pattern it, it does come out stretchy. So that was another reason to do it because he's got massive hands. So um, yeah. So you have to excuse the cut off colours of my nails because I I do paint them a lot, so they get discoloured from the varnish, and um, I haven't 
obviously done it. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd give them a bit of a break into the sun a bit. So yeah, so that's that. But it's a very, very simple pattern. So like, it's basically a two row repeat. But um, he's he's happy with it. I should just grab. So I've got the other one actually on on the needle. Just sort of started it. I don't know if he's going to get him get it for this rest of this winter. So I've only just started, and I've actually uh, mastered magic magic loop or whatever you call it. Really easy. Because I'm one of these people that think, oh, I need a such and such size needles, and I haven't got that one, I'll better go get another one. But I just thought, oh, it's getting a bit stupid to keep doing that, so. Yeah. So that's that. And that's the, I'll hold it up close, you can see all the nice um, speckles in it. It's really nice. I think I've got the, the label in the bag, right? Because it only takes, for the gloves it's uh, only 50 grams so that's really good uh let's have a look yeah felted tweed a felted effect yarn made with merino wool and alpaca so i said to him i'll also kill him if he loses them. <laughs> but yeah so that's all good so he seems to be happy with it so that's the main thing isn't it so, mm. and on to the next thing, socks. I am so pleased with how these have turned out. Uh, this is the Hamani Everyday Socks, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. Uh, the wool is mm, Drops Fable. I really like the way these have turned out such a okay, that. nice pattern and I actually like the yarn as well and I might actually not yet <laughs> I'll put actually I'm to be honest I am waiting for Wool Warehouse to have their drop sale because I'm going to really stock up but I would really like to um, get this colour again and do a vanilla pair because I just, I just really like the way this has come out. It's such a nice pattern. You know, it's got the it's a texture to it. So I'm really, really pleased with those. But yeah, I'm still, I brought, oh, I don't know how much, how much in pounds, uh, British pounds worth I brought, but I did spend quite a lot. 20, 30, 35 pounds, I think it might have been, a couple of years ago when they had the drops. So and I just I mainly spent it all on drops fable, like basic. I think I've got nearly every colour, and some colours I got more than once because I wanted them in that colour, and the old man wanted socks in that colour, and I'm still wending my way through it, um, because obviously I do buy other sock yarns as well in between. <laughs> but yeah, so I really really like that. I am so sorry if you can hear that. So I'm not sure if if, if the video is picking it up, but the tools have started up again over the back. So, and obviously my windows are closed, but it's coming through really loud. So I do apologise for that. So, what's the matter with you? What's the matter? That's right, it's my dog. She's she thinks I'm going out, and she suffers with separation anxiety. And I'm not going out. No, don't be silly. This is Dolly Dog. Say hello, Dolly Dog. Say hello. Hello. She is so fat. She looks like, uh, like a, a pot belly pig or uh, what you call her? A seal, beach seal. She's, oh, she's, uh, I don't know what she, well, yeah, she's Jack Russell. So that's why her body's fat, and then she's, I've got a chihuahua cross. Yeah, we re she's a rescue, aren't you, darling? Yes, you are. You're a silly dog. You're a silly dog. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so she's a bit whingy because where I've put my hat on, she thinks I'm going out, and I'm not. All right. <laughs> 
anyway on to the next thing is um, I've still got loads of odds and ends well I say loads I, I mean loads of odds and ends of like acrylic style crafts all that stuff left over from because I do make a lot of blankets and I could and usually you like really big ones whoops careful Dolly so wait, sorry about that she caught my cable um, so I've got so many ends are leftovers it's unreal um, I'm trying to find projects to start using them but I I subscribe to simply crochet and they had a uh, like granny square pa patterns for all sorts of things so it's not these aren't usually my thing but I thought I'd give it a go <laughs> and I actually like quite how they turned out so these are just um, but there is, it's basically you, you can't go wrong it's two squares and when you sew them up you just whip stitch the sides um, you leave one gap when you're sewing up one of the sides you know uh, one granny square gap and then you just do the like tops and bottoms so yeah I'm quite quite pleased how that turned out I think so yeah I think they're half star craft and half women's women is it women's institute yeah I think it's women's institute from hobby craft are some of that left over as well Take that women's institute stuff i think that's one of the softest acrylics that i've ever come across it is so nice well talking about hobby craft i would actually be very interested uh to see if any of you have used their sock yarn uh, i think it's about three pounds for me i don't know something like that um the colors look really nice but I did notice when I looked online, it's, was I think it's like, I think it's like 75% wool, but instead of putting nylon or, you know, similar, like most sock yarns are, have, they put acrylic in. And that's kind of put me off it for making socks, because I'm thinking, would it keep its shape? And um, so I would be very interested if any of you have purchased it. <laughs> purchased it uh how it's turned out for you so yeah if you have please leave a comment below because like i said i would be really really interested right on to the next things squares um hmm. i didn't realize how many i've made these last few <laughs> couple of weeks um yeah i'm not going to show all of them because yeah it take forever um what are you do you know i cannot never remember what i'm using uh la, 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 la. bear with me one sex peeps i should just quickly grab oh sorry about that <laughs> i should oh right uh it's king carl king carl melody And the colourway I'm using is called fruit salad. So I'm making willow squares. So every square is coming out different colour wise. I've actually memorised the pattern now so I don't have to look at the pattern. So it's quite easy. I'll just show you a couple so you can see how they come out different each time it's another green one so yeah so I'm, the, the only thing I don't like because I I brought this yarn online and to be honest with you if I'd have brought, seen it in the shop I would have brought it because it is quite scratchy for a, a premium yarn so I'm hoping it's going to soften up when it washes and if it doesn't soften up then i won't use it as a blanket per se uh to, you know to put on me if i'm cold or anything i should just use it as a throw to go on on the back of one of my couches or chairs or whatever but you know I, 
I still like it, but I'm just just hoping that it's going to, um, I said, soften up in the wash. So, on to blankets again. My Woodland Blanket by Attic24. Well, I say Woodland, I'm actually doing it in uh, the trellis pattern, you know, what she did for the sweet pea blanket. And so that is coming along really, really nicely. I've done quite a bit, I think, if I can find from, yeah, so I was right down there. And now, all done with that. So I'm probably going to have to alter the the patterning a bit, or the, the colour rise a bit, because uh, for the original blanket it was done. Um, even though it was two rows, same as this, um, one of the rows was single crochet, US double crochet, UK. So obviously the striping rows for there were two rows was a lot smaller than this because these are uh, trebles, UK trebles, doubles doubles for U, U, US so uh, I might have to like fudge it for the rest of the way up the blanket when um, the colours start running out or um, if I think the blanket's getting too long because I would like to incorporate some of the, the other colours when it comes in because it starts going more into the sort of the blues and the silvers as it reaches the top but yeah I'm really really pleased about that so I do like Attic24 and all her patterns, for those of you who are interested, they are f all free on her blog, which is Attic24. If you just put Attic24 in, it comes up anyway. And um, yeah, so they're really good. So they, obviously this is going to come out as um, single bed size, but they're great for chucking over you, you know, in the evenings or... Well, I'll just chuck it over me on the bed as well because I'll get cold. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's that. Um, yeah, I do like me a good old blanket. Um, it's mindless, isn't it? You just... Because I, I like to... Um, I, I do watch podcasts as well when I'm not in, doing anything that's too convoluted when you've got to concentrate. But um, I do like... I listen predominantly to audio books actually, so yeah. <laughs> mm. Loads and loads and loads. So there, that's that. So I've already showed you that, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. My Boxy by Hokey Locatelli. I'm actually quite pleased with how far I've got with this in its um, four ply. So. I must admit, I haven't um, worked on it for a week. So, this is how far I've got so far. I don't know why. I, well, it's longer than it looks. But I've, the ribbing, because it's only, I think it's four rows of ribbing. It curl, it's curling over. And I've noticed, you know, a lot of podcasters um, in groups online, they've all said the same about that. And that sometimes it does block out so I'm hoping it does so I can't show you it because I, I I think I'm on that yeah I'm on 80 centimeter yeah 80 centimeter circular so it's, I can't give you the full width because obviously the needles are smaller than the width so I'm really pleased I'm just on my I think when I finish this bit off that's 200 grams has gone in and I've just got to the point where I'm going to start separating for the front and the back so so wish me luck on that because I've never I've never um, knitted a jumper in the round I've always done flat knitted flat so yeah wish me luck on that <laughs> nah, it's got to be easy isn't it if you can do colour work I'm sure I can do this so um, yeah really pleased so I chose this colour because um, I thought it'd be great with jeans, jeans and a nice white shirt underneath. 
or blouse, I suppose, if you want to be feminine, <laughs> blouse shirt, it's just all the same, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It's probably not everybody's cup of tea, the colours, but I really like it. Because I, I was thinking, because I do love, like, purples. Purples is one of my favourite colours. Uh, I know this... I like this is about one of my favouritest ever colourway on uh, Lion Brand Mandala. That's it. My favourite is colourway. Not used it for anything else, but I just I just noticed I put it on back to front. My pins all back to front because I'm lazy. You see, I leave the pin on and I just take it off over my head. So like that. See, look, I like that. So well, it would look better if it was round the right way, but yeah, <laughs> that's what I use. I just use brooches. Oh, don't lay on my wall, you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm digressing, aren't I? I always do that. I always go off in tangents. So yeah, um, I don't, what was I saying? Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm really, I'm really happy, and yes, it's dropped fable. <laughs> Well, to be quite honest, um, at the time I didn't want to, because like, it works out a lot of money, doesn't it, to make a full-size jumper in, in like, marine, merino, so you're talking about, what, 80 quid, and to be honest, I couldn't, what's the word, well, you know, I, 80 quid for a jumper at the time against next to nothing on drops fable so okay it won't be quite so soft uh, and I just wanted to make sure I could get the hang of it you know doing in the round so now I'm working uh, when my hours pick up that is I'll be able to afford to buy some nicer yarn so but I'm not a yarn snob I'll go with whatever most of the time so yeah you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you can't you can't always justify a lot of money on something like that, can you? You can't. Well, I can't anyway. So, <laughs> but yeah. So that's that. I uh, have another pair of socks on the go as usual. Um, trying to remember what I'm. I started the second one. <laughs> Don't do things like that. I'm trying to get the. Oh, yeah, that's the yarn that goes with that. Yeah, I'm getting all fuddly muddled. That's. Oh, right. So, this is what I have on the needles so far. So, this is. Uh, it's Hobie, Hobby, Hobby, Hobie, H O B B W I, Hobie, Hobby, Hobby, and that's a a yarn online shop in Denmark, and it's the Happy Feet, which again is seventy five super soft wool, twenty five percent nylon. Um, I haven't got a colorway; it's just color one two seven and i think oh this the, the cream is just a drops fable but uh yeah quite liking how that's coming out so that's me circular popping out there so hmm. pretty pretty i suppose i don't know i look better on the wall on the ball shall i say oh i've lost that now everything what do i do with that then oh well i've lost that that's gone somewhere <laughs> so i'll get the other one out so that's what it looks like wound looks quite pretty i'm doing my editing now because i don't know where i've done where that ball of wool's gone i can't go under the settee because it's too too thin so that's I think. Oh, I had, did buy a new 
new bag that's from Amelia Joy on Etsy I had to have it because it's got uh, fuck it. Oh, it there. it's got sloths on love it love it love it all of the all this has got in there is just the um, just the leftovers from my Babel hat so I need to put everything away on that it's got a bit of leftover actually so I don't know what I'm going to do with that find something so yeah so that I think that's all all my whips and finishes so I think I've got much more to say I think it's quite a sh short podcast today um cause normally I, th I think I normally do about an hour but I suppose with the um, workmen kicking off over the back um, again, <laughs> it's just as well. Um, like I said, for the, the Ocean Mail, um, I will put all details again in the description box and where to join my uh, Ravelry group so you can participate uh, in, you know, in the prizes and all that. You know, sometimes I make myself. I look at myself morning and I think, oh, God, I make myself look thick sometimes. <laughs> but oh well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You can uh, participate in that. It, it is very simple. Uh, you know, it, it, it's been designed so everyone can join in, and it it does include um, spinning as well, weaving, anything fibre related. Uh, but as the title suggests, the colours do you know must pertain to like the sea or the beach that sort of thing so yeah so but I I think I'm you know I would like to say a little bit more but I, I think I'm gonna call it it because it the tools are getting really loud and I not sure it, how bad this is coming across on the podcast so um, yeah so you can find me on um, Ravelry as lady drummer i think it's uh, not is it drummer lady lady drummer I'm always getting back to front but i put it down there i'm on um oh God, instagram yarn tales by the sea and if you need to email me for any reason whatsoever i am yarn tales dot by the sea at gmail.com so i'm gonna call it it because um like i said work tools out there and everything uh, i hope you're all well and uh, yeah i hope to see you very soon which will be at the end of the month so bye for now <laughs>